And uh, I want to just start off by saying that I don't know what went on. And that is what this video is going to be about today. As you already have probably seen, I have decided to change the series September Shredding over to something different. I haven't actually decided exactly what it is yet. And I want to just talk a little bit about my reason behind that. So I've just not been myself at all lately. And when I first started this September Shredding series, I was 201 pounds. I hadn't done YouTube in a couple of months and I was kind of like feeling like I was new again. And uh, yeah, I was getting back into it and everything went absolutely perfect for the first eight weeks. I set myself realistic goals. I set my, my macros were high, my cardio was low, my workouts were absolutely perfect. Every single workout was hit. I didn't miss reps, I didn't miss sets. Well, obviously my workload was low at the time, so I wasn't working that many hours compared to what I am doing now. But after about eight weeks, what actually happened was with the opening of our new gym, uh, NC Fitness in Rush, uh, the workload just increased and a lot more responsibilities increased and YouTube and my training and my nutrition got the bad end of that. And um, that is what this video is about. I'm not trying to make excuses. Like I know people out there have it way harder than me. They have like 14 hour work days, you know, they have fucking four or five kids to take care of and they're still able to stay in shape. But I had never experienced, you know, X amount of hours per week followed by different responsibilities, followed by going from one thing to another. Being responsible for certain things for a business was kind of like my main focus and come towards the end of a work week what would happen is I would just feel like I was mentally drained and that I had nothing to look forward to like my calories were like getting lower and my cardio I was just doing workout after workout and work was draining me and I was just had no motivation whatsoever over the last five weeks my routine has you know being a massive factor to you know how bad my training's been going and my nutrition and i done a video i put it up last week and i probably shouldn't have put it up because it was just kind of like spur of the moment like so i was setting the standard way too high and setting unrealistic goals so i put up a video where i said i was going to increase my cardio and decrease my calories right down to 200 or 2000 per day and you know do my 45 minutes cardio along with my workout or along with my work week and uh, yeah, I was, you know, that is just an unrealistic goal, unhealthy. And I was like prepared to lose a little bit of muscle mass because I wanted to look good on holidays. I'm talking to you today because, you know, I want you to understand that, okay, your mistakes are made and, uh, you know, settling into a new job and a new routine is tough. And I'm not one to make excuses and I'm not looking for excuses. I'm giving you, you know, my experience, you know, you only learn from trial and error. And uh, I've learned so much from just doing these YouTube videos that, you know, it is it is so hard to get into a new routine. It is so, it is difficult. And, you know, if you overcomplicate anything, it's going to just feel like it's impossible. And that's exactly what I've done. So the last couple of days I had been feeling sorry for myself. You know, I just felt like, you know, I get down in the dumps when I'm not in my routine, when I'm not hitting my workouts, when, you know, I, I took two days rest the last two days. And uh, yeah, that's just not like me. And this is not like me whatsoever. So today, um, I said, right, look, things have got to change. So I pretty much, I have set myself out a new plan and um, I'm thinking of naming this series Will I Ever Get Shredded or Be Shredded? Something similar to that. Morning, I weighed in at 194.4 pounds. So a lot, <laughs> eight or nine pounds up from where my lightest weight was this, this cut. Yeah, there's nothing really else to say about that. That's in the past. Everything, I have to make it simple. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm going to extend this series. So I'm going to make it, you know, God knows how many more weeks. I th I'm thinking of 12 weeks from this video. So I want to start a 12 week cut again. And I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, he's cutting again. You know, he's never going to be able to cut. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the first with me. I did not, I have not been in a cut the last 
the last six weeks I have been more in a surplus. I have been eating out, I have been binging, I have been doing things like that, and I have wasted the last six weeks. So the first six weeks went absolutely, first eight weeks went absolutely perfect, but it's the last five, six weeks that have just flipped me upside down and you know put me back, you know, to where I would have been towards the first three weeks into my cup. And there is absolutely nothing I can do about that. And, you know, it's just learning from my mistakes. And the reason why I want to put this video up is just because you can see that it's, you know, it's mistakes are made. And it's kind of how you learn and how you adapt to those mistakes is really what is going to make or break you in that sense. So I have decided to be myself and practice what you preach I would never give someone a diet like I gave myself last week I was you know last ditch mode I wanted to be shredded but now I said you know accept the fact Ryan you wasted it over the next 12 weeks so I am actually starting today because I can't hit weigh-ins and uh, physique updates during the week it works out that like I just have to get up at like 5 a.m. to get a morning weight and it's just too much and I need my seven and a half hours sleep at night. So like I'm not one to make excuses and I'm not I'm, I'm not bragging about how many hours work I put in or etc. Like I'm one of these people that where more hours doesn't necessarily isn't better and uh, that's a mindset. I always will have. I would rather work. It's I have the mindset of how do I work? How do I make the same amount of money but work 10 hours less? Because I'd rather spend that 10 hours less with my family, with relationships, with, with everything, with things like that. And you know, necessarily not more hours is better. Good relationships, you want to make sure that you have good friendships, you want to make sure you, your work, your life can't be consumed by work and it can't be consumed by fitness and it can't be consumed by you know just f nutrition you've got to be able to enjoy you've got to be able to do this you've got to be able to do that and, you know that's what i've not been doing i've been letting work just take over i've been letting uh, my calories just stay at 2000 and i just haven't been able to hit them come nine o'clock i'm like mentally drained i'm doing my cardio and pushing my body to the absolute limits and then nine o'clock comes and i'm like what the fuck have i got to look forward to tomorrow and fucking nothing and that attitude i have is giving me then like almost like a uh, you know an emotional eating towards the end of the evening where i'm like this is the only part of the day that i have to look forward to and uh, yeah that that is what that is exactly what what has been happening so that is why i'm going back to a new cup i am starting it again it's starting fresh i'm going to be putting up you know two to three videos per week this episode this series will continue on it's just going to be a new name because it's going to go further than september so my plan for you know this coming week well it's actually starting today i have started my plan today 2600 calories i think i'm taking in 315 grams of carbs and 200 grams of protein and 60 grams of fat they will be my macros until i plateau now i was 194.4 pounds holidays i will vlog the whole holiday as well don't think i won't i will vlog the whole holiday i will kind of hopefully stay on track on holidays we have a gym in our hotel so i will be training four or five days a week and i will kind of not binge as much as i as much as i was planning on doing because i've just kind of done that over the last four or five weeks now i am going to enjoy my holiday but for me enjoying a holiday is not going out and eating myself till i feel sick me enjoying a holiday is going out and enjoying experiences you know like jet skiing like theme parks and all that kind of stuff so in that sense i will enjoy my holiday to the absolute max trust me i'll not be thinking about work but food wise you know i'm more of an emotional eater and when things get the best of me i tend to go to food for you know comfort and you know i don't want that on holidays because that will only make me not enjoy the holiday more because what ends up happening is i get annoyed at myself for cheating on my diet and i feel shit and i ended up i end up letting that take control of me and that makes me not enjoy the other experiences like jet skiing and all that stuff i just go around in a bad mood kind of every day so me staying on top of my diet but eating foods that I enjoy and you know is and staying on top of my routine and my plan actually puts me in a better mood and makes me put out better energy which you know may not sound normal to you but it's a, a kind of how I deal with things so 
on holidays I do plan to train, I do plan to, you know, stay on track. I will be posting about how to stay on track when you're on holidays. And um yeah, that is the whole idea of the next couple of weeks. So, um, you know, I feel like I've wasted the last couple of weeks and I have wasted the last couple of weeks, but there's nothing I can absolutely do about that. And uh, yeah, this video was literally just to explain everything and I hope you know, this is hard for me not to put, it is hard for me to put up and because I've said I was going to do this and I said I was going to be ripped by September and I was going to be lean on holidays and it's hard for me to admit that, okay, I'm not going to be as ripped as I wanted to be and it's, you know, it's it's disheartening, you know, there's nothing I can do about it now but, uh, you know, you know, every there's people out there that have it worse than me and I know that and I know you are probably looking at this video and thinking, what a little bitch, like he can't even, you know, stick to his diet because his work increased and, you know, I think the exact same thing in myself, you know, I think so high in myself, I think Jesus Ryan, you know, if you ever want to become successful, you know, you can't, and I think, I literally put myself up here and, uh, I'm my worst critic, honestly. I literally, like, you know, beat myself up so much over little things, like when I let myself down. And uh, I'm trying to get out of that attitude because that's what actually will make you make further setbacks. So, pretty much what I'm saying is, you know, learn, you know, once you establish a mistake, once you, you know, realize what you've done wrong you can then take that into your future and never do it again. So you will never see me post last ditch, you know, stuff again. You know, and when I'm cutting, it's gonna be a slow, steady cut. I'm making sure I'm giving myself enough time and I'm doing it realistic and I'm not doing, you know, anything quick and anything half arsed, you know, cause it's not me. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna end on that note and sorry if the video was a little bit, uh, you know, abrupt, I, I just pretty much talked to the camera and just kind of let out how I was feeling and explained to you everything. So if it's kind of thrown together a little bit, I'm, I'm not too sure how I'm going to put it together. But uh, yeah, please, uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, hit a like and uh, leave me a comment or leave me a message and uh, I will definitely get back to you. But um, yeah, thanks for watching everyone and here's to a new, a new start, you know, a new bleeding plan, a new new everything, you know, new mindset, none of this bullshit anymore, you know, literally back to my old self and just get out of this attitude, no more time for mistakes, I've had enough time to settle in, but thanks for watching and uh, stay safe and enjoy.